what's up it's julie projected here with another video today we are talking about the latest pulse and we are talking about real clear politics real clear politics that's where i usually go to get most of my polls um i haven't really looked at any other websites it's they do a really good job of organizing everything what poll i like to look at when i'm looking at changes or like trends or um i guess momentum when we're looking at momentum in polls i like to look at the same source i don't like to cross pollinate polls it's a very snooty term i would imagine but yeah i'd like to like if i'm looking at the hill harris x or whatever i want to see i want to track within those polls the movement Versus like if I was going morning console and then Harris, it wouldn't really fit, you know, just different ways that they do their polling, different ways that they extrapolate the data, you know. Uh, one name that seems to be resounding even from before he announced, I forget at what point he announced, but even back like in February, um, let me go back, let me go down here so you can see, even back, um, in February, you see Biden pretty much running things, man. Running the streets. The mean streets of D.C. Joe Biden. Uh, yeah, so he's he's leading. Sanders has a couple broad spots here. Was leading the poll. but And this is national, you know. I don't hate using national polls for especially large build primary type stuff now national polls for presidential election when you have two clear-cut candidates you already know if they both gone through the convention and all that is completely useless i've used them in the past and been upset every single time state polls are the way to go especially in the battleground states you know we'll do a future video and identify basically the election will come down to six states Sorry to break it to you, but if you live in those six states, your vote goes vastly farther than somebody like me that lives in a red state or somebody else that lives in a deep blue state. You know, you live in a purple state, your vote goes further. It's just nothing more to it than that. But all right, so let's take a look. Uh, actually, I'm not going to look at the Hill Harris poll. I'm sure it's a great poll. It's the latest one or whatever. But the Morning Console, I really like using them. Um, I mean, I think everybody does a great job as far as polling. I know some people like to diss some polls and say they're skewed or whatnot. I think everybody does a great job of, you know, getting the data in and, and taking a look a little deeper into it. But Morning Console has a nice little setup here um, talking about they, they like to say what's changed from their last poll. So definitely take a look. I'm going to link all these websites up in the bottom of the video, of course. But yeah, de definitely keep an eye on Morning Console. And you actually, when you actually go into the poll itself, you can sign up for like a email with them. I'm, I'm on their list or whatever. You actually get the poll early and they give you a little briefing as far as like in this style that kind of lets you know what changes. So you can kind of keep up to date even... If you're not like a big, huge political person, but you kind of want to just have an idea of what's going on out there, this is a great source. So uh, I would recommend for sure. All right, so who's leading? Your boy Joe Biden. <laughs> I don't know if he's your boy, but he's leading. Let me pull it up here. Yeah, so 40% for underneath 19, and then it kind of just drops off from there. You can see. Elizabeth Warren, 8%, Kamala, 7 Buttigieg, 6 Beto, 5 and then just kind of goes down from there. See the bottom there. All right, so early primary state voters. So this is like the four states that will vote early before Super Tuesday. I think it's Iowa, New Hampshire, don't quote me on this, Nevada, South Carolina, maybe. Maybe those four states. Not 100%, but I'm, I'm fairly sure those are the four. So let's check it out. Joe Biden, 44. Bernie at 20. That's not too bad. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Uh, so that's pretty much informed. 
So we'll see if this moves much as far as the polling data is concerned. You know, there's a lot of time in between now and the next Joe Biden blunder, so, you know, he can get a couple of those gaps in there before January rolls around, you know, his polling data might fall down a little bit. <laughs> no hate, no, no hate, all love, I promise. Alright, so, yeah, it's really cool. I mean, you can check out, if you're a graph person, a visual person, you can check out this graph. Uh, this is pretty cool. Like, okay, so you went and vote for them. Uh, they're not your first choice, but who are their second choices? And you can see here, Biden supporters would go for Bernie, and then Sanders supporters for Joe. So that's why you see a lot of mix there. That's really cool too. Like, kind of hover over and it changes up a little bit. If you're a big time polling nerd. Warren supporters will go for Bernie, Harris supporters for Joe, Buttigieg for Joe. So yeah, um, that's what we're gonna talk about here next. Oh, this is really cool. Tracking name recognition, ah, excuse me. Tracking name recognition and favorability. So Bernie Sanders has 73% favorable. Um, Oh, okay, but yeah, favorable and then heard of, never heard of, you don't want to be in that camp. So you see, never heard of starts, once you go, start coming down in the polls, you see the never heard of starts picking up. So a lot of these people at the very bottom, that's what they're facing is people just don't know their message. They haven't gotten um, much exposure, that sort of thing. People just don't know about them, you know. So that's a cool thing to see. Uh, some more boring stuff. So let's jump over here to real clear. What I wanted to show you guys. If I can pull it up. Uh, okay. I think. Sorry probably making people okay here it is sorry all right so this is if you know trump versus whoever and you kind of can see and i don't really care if trump's ahead or you know democrat nominee is ahead that doesn't really matter to me i'm really comparing the number to each other i'm comparing biden's number to sanders sanders to warren warren to Buttigieg. Buttigieg, Harris, all that kind of stuff, and who has the best, because at the end of the day, a Democrat voter just wants to win, man. They want to beat Trump, and they're going to seek the candidate that they think can beat them, and they'll sacrifice some of their policies for them. You know, if you get on the far left, maybe not as much, but people on the left to the middle, yeah, man, they'll sacrifice a few policies to uh, ensure a Trump loss so you can see Biden's up six points Sanders up six Warren really tight Buttigieg up three Harris up four O'Rourke up ten that's like really fishy up with the O'Rourke like this is CNN's poll and everything but come on ten points Really? Don't want to throw too much shade on them, but I just, I don't know, man. Can't people see through that? No, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. No more of that. I'm sorry. Just straight polling, baby. Uh, one thing I'm concerned with is with Harris, though. She had a bad, but it is Rasmussen. It leans a little bit more to the right. Um, Harris down five points here, but we'll keep a look at that. So for now, I mean, what you see in the polls until otherwise is Joe Biden's in the lead and we'll see if Bernie Sanders can catch up. Basically, that's from now until, I mean, we have a ton of time. It's May, so we have like seven months before the even first of the year. And that's when it really gets crazy, man, is when we actually get some primary results. We'll talk about that in a future video, how 
you want to seek out that momentum for sure. So that's it on these latest polls. We'll keep an eye on them and check out my Twitter because I keep uh, pulling data on there. Try to share with the masses what's going on out there. So check out my Twitter and um, we will see you in the next video. Peace out. Thank you.